at the Rams. 2-0 going on the road to Buffalo. Another 2-0 team. The Rams getting two points on the road. Mauled, which way are you leaning here? Honestly, I got I got the Rams plus two. Ooh. I got the Rams plus two. Great minds think alike, right? I think that, <laughs> that's what the saying goes. Let me Absolutely. ask you. I love it. <laughs> let me ask you a few questions here, Christian. Yeah. Did the Bills defense in week number one, I believe that they allowed 17 points to the Jets. Is that correct? Uh, yep. 28 the next week to the Dolphins. Is that correct? Yes. Now, let me ask you a question. Would you say the Jets offense or the, Do or the Dolphins offense, would you say they're particularly good offenses? No. I'm with you. Are the Rams a good offense? Yes. Boom. There we go. Rams yeah. are good offense. The Bills defense is allowing points to bad teams. That's I'm with exactly you. what I was looking at. That's what I was looking at to make this pick. I don't think that their defense is as good as it can be. I mean, for a team that went to the playoffs last year, I definitely go in with the Rams plus two. Have to do it. Lock it in. Lock it in. One for one. We are both on the Rams plus two. All right. Bills defense. Not good. Lock it in. Number two. This is, to me, the, to be honest, out of the spread here, or out of these five games, out of the slate we have, I should say, this, to me, was the toughest game to pick. Cowboys getting five points on the road in Seattle. We saw Ken Newton and that Patriots offense put up some points on Sunday night. Which way are you leaning the ball? Five points is a generous amount for a team that can score like the Cowboys. Which way are we going? Uh, this, like you said, this was definitely a tough one. Vegas, Vegas knows their stuff. They put yes. the perfect spread out there for us to choose from. Um, but I I, I got to go Cowboys. I'm going Cowboys plus five here to cover. Cowboys? I don't, think, I don't think they win outright, but I definitely think they can cover. See, uh, it, I went back and forth. So, like, this is the one I, I filled out last because yeah. I went back and forth on it so much. And this is what it came down to for me. Right now, Russell Wilson's playing like MVP. Right now, no one is better than him right now with the way he's playing. Yep. So he's going to score points. That Seahawks team is going to score points. So it all comes down to the Cowboys. Can they keep up? Can the Cowboys play well in a big spot? The saying goes, fool me once, shame on you, right? Fool me twice, shame on me. Or if you're George Bush, fool me twice, you, you can't get fooled again. Whatever, whatever way you want, you know, whatever saying you want to go, it, it applies here. The Cowboys in 2019, every big game they played in did not show up. The offense struggled. They didn't score points. And they came up flat, whether it was the Patriots, whether it's the Eagles, any game where against the, a good team, the Cowboys didn't show up. Fool me once? All right, fine. You keep thinking the Cowboys with that talent are going to play well. Shame on you. No shame on me here. I am not shaming myself. This Cowboys team is the same team from last year so far. They are not going to show up on the road in Seattle. I don't care if that Seahawks defense looked exposed last week. Lay the five points. Seahawks at home. Going to win this game because the Cowboys will go into a shell. Like they always do. Give me Seattle. Give me the – I'll lay the five points, no problem. Seahawks get this one done. See, honestly, I'm the opposite. I'm letting them fool me all the time. I think <laughs> I picked them both weeks so far, week one and week two, and I'm pretty sure I lost both times with the Cowboys. So keep fooling me. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sticking with my Cowboys pick. I'm, to be fair, I'm, all, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite in the fact that I thought they were going to win week one, and I thought <laughs> yep. they were going to win week two. So – I did buy in for the first two weeks, but not this week. Number three is where I put my foot down. Week number three, not getting fooled a third time. Can't yeah, get fooled, I... as George Bush would say. <laughs> All right, so that's our first disagreement. And it, we should yep. just put this out there. You're an expert yourself. In your girlfriend's family pool, you pick every game. Through two weeks, you're in 11th out of 16th place. So you're not in last yep. place. You're not nope, the worst not at picking games. Not last. Well, time is on my side right now. We got <laughs> so we, we got a lot of weeks left. I think there's it's comeback season. It starts mauled in week number three, doesn't it? Absolutely. We'll go to another tough game. Packers at Saints. Sunday night football. Packers getting three and a half points on the road here in the dome. What are we thinking, Mauled? Oh, Saints minus three and a half. Ooh, that yeah. is confident. Let's that, hear it. That's, uh, that, was wow. honestly, that, was most, that was definitely my most confident pick of this whole week. Saints wow. Three and a half. See, I, <laughs> I love this because I feel the total opposite. Really? The Packers offense is white hot. And to me, this is Aaron Rodgers so far just being a big FU to the Packers. They traded up to draft a quarterback as a replacement. They needed a wide receiver. They didn't give him any wide receiver help. 
So Aaron Rodgers saying, screw you guys. I'm scoring points. I'm winning games just to spite you. And the Saints offense, I'll be honest. We talked about this early in the show, Mold. Drew Brees is not blowing me away. He looks old. He's playing like he's old. Not great so far. So you know what? I'm riding the hot hand. Packers in the dome. Winning outright. I'll take the three and a half points. Don't get me wrong. Packers are winning this game winning outright. outright. <laughs> and now that's a confident one in you, man. That I is, like it. I, I like love it. the confidence like from you. Yep. Boom, Saints three and a half. Don't even think about yep. it. Give me that. <laughs> All right. So a little disagreement here. We both agreed on the Rams plus two. You took the Cowboys plus five. I took the Seahawks. You took the Saints minus three and a half. I took the Packers. So, so far, a little disagreement here. If we go to game yep. number four, the final NFL game, and the biggest game of the year so far, Chiefs and Ravens. Monday Night Football, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. Chiefs are getting, this may be the only time we've ever seen this with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, are getting three and a half points on the road. You were saying this is the, the toughest pick for you out of the slate. Yeah. What did you end up getting on with? Um, so, like you said, easily the hardest game I've, I've had to pick. I didn't even make my pick till this morning. Um, Ooh. I, I didn't. Um, Slept on it. Yeah, I had to. Um, I, I, got, I had to go Ravens minus three and a half. All right. At home, I, Lamar yep. Jackson, you're feeling the Ravens. I'm feeling the Ravens. See that um, we disagree again. We yeah. I love this. We disagree again. Wow. To me, I'll be honest, Maul, this is one of the easiest. To sl- uh, this might be the easiest selection for me. If you're given the Chiefs points, I will take them. At this point, with the way Patrick Mahomes is playing and this Chiefs team is playing, anytime you are saying, here, here's a lead, here is an extra point that they have to, you're giving them, I'll take it. No questions asked. I understand the Ravens are a good team. I like their defense, the Ravens, a lot more than the Chiefs. But I, I will take say, I, don't, I don't know if the Chiefs offense can do it against the Ravens defense and, and cover. You, do you think they went out right? Uh, so I have my I'm going to say yes. I'm going to I'm at this point. I'm just going to pick the Chiefs. And until they prove me wrong, I'm like, all right, it's one of those things. I'm right. just going to take yeah, them. Yeah. I think they're definitely going to cover. I got to think about it. I can't lie. I got to think about if they're going to win out right. I think it's going to yeah. be a close game. Yeah. It's going to be a phenomenal game. I, I right now gun to my head. I'll take the Ravens to win. I think okay. it's going to be one of those three-point games come down the wire yep. right down to the end. So if you're giving me three and a half points, if you're saying right now the Ravens have to win by more than a field goal, I'll take the Chiefs all day, any day. Yep. So, no, I, I, that's a respectable move, too. I love this, Mold. Three disagreements. <laughs> this is, this is yep. a lot of fun. You're laying points. I'm laying points. <laughs> you're feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. What of us is going to have we'll a hell of a we'll Monday. Come, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what of us is going to have a disaster. <laughs> Well, I mean, so far through one week, it shows the celebrity guest picker knows a lot more than the host. So I would like your chances a lot more than mine. <laughs> Before we get to the upset special, we will dabble in college football. The SEC returns this week. Really, for the first time, we actually have some good games to talk about. We have one ranked matchup. Number three, Kentucky. I am sorry, number three. Whew. Number 23, Kentucky, getting eight points on the road at number eight, Auburn. Malt. Are we feeling, are we feeling the Wildcats here? Are we feeling a little upset special? Uh, so I'm not actually. Ooh, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I took Auburn minus eight. And as you know, I don't know too much about college football. Went with a little gut instinct on this one. Auburn minus eight. Lock it in. Malt, I'm with you, man. Yep. I am totally with you. I like what Auburn has at quarterback. And I like the gut. I looked at this. I said, you want know gut instinct? I like Auburn. Yep. I'm a little higher than than a lot of people this year, for whatever reason. They, a lot of people do not like Bo Nix at quarterback. I do. I'm rolling with it. I'm with you. Lay the eight Love points. It. No big deal. First first game of the year. I'm taking Auburn. I'm with you. They beat Kentucky. They take care of business. So we are in lockstep. So just to recap, the five games we are picking, we are both on the Rams plus two. We are both on uh, Auburn laying eight. You took the Cowboys. I took the Seahawks. I took the Packers. You took the Saints. I took the Chiefs. You took the Ravens. It's going to be a very, very, very fun yeah, week very, for sure. Very interesting. I love this. All right, Mauld. So your upset special. So this is where? You get the chance to go past Lauren. If you go 5-0, and oh, this is a chance to get bonus points and really cement yourself at number one. The upset special. You pick any game. Pick the underdog to cover if they're more than a five-point underdog. If they cover, you get one point. If they went out right, you get two points. What is your upset special for week number two? Or I guess week number three, I should say. All right. Um, so I'm going to go with a little 
something that's n probably no one's going to be agreeing with. Ooh. Uh, I'm going with the Jets against your beloved. Wow. Plus Massive one. You have plus ten and a half. Uh, I think they could cover. They're absolutely not going to, you know, like even come close to winning. But I, I definitely think that ten and a half point spread, at least the one I saw. I don't know what you have if you have the eleven point. Um, yeah, I, I, I got the Jets plus ten and a half. I like it. Ten and a half. I did see that big spread. And I'll say this: yep. it working in your favor, the Colts did lose to the Jaguars week one. They exactly. do play down to their competition. This could be one. Ten and a half is a big number. But they did just crush the Vikings. The Viking, I mean, the Vikings played so bad. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you're only one or two Philip Rivers interceptions away from just being in that game. That's the thing. The, Col yeah. the Colts had a lot of chances. They kicked a lot of field goals. Field goals, when you're ten and a half spread, field goals are good. Field goals yep. are really good. Just got it. Just got to get in range. Wow. All right. So you are trusting Adam Gase and the Jets, ten and a half point underdogs, <laughs> to cover at the Colts. I'm when gonna, you see a, yeah, when you see a spread like that in NFL, I feel like you almost have to take the underdogs. Right? You almost have to. That's like a college football spread. You never see really yeah. more than like, I would say eight points. Anything more yeah, than eight is like a big, big number. And, a half. Yep. and yep. you're getting ten and a half. Colts have to win by 11. Malt, yep. playing the numbers game. I like, hey, I'm a numbers guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is absolutely a numbers guy. That is for sure. I love that. So Jets plus 10 and a half. I'm going to stick with college football. I'm going to go stick in the SEC. Mississippi State with the Pirate head coach, Mike Leach, getting 16 and a half points at LSU. First game with Mike Leach at Mississippi State. He loves to throw the ball. He's going to throw the ball 70 times in this game against LSU. Uh, SEC defense has never seen an air raid offense like this before. And not to mention... Every single player with talent that could go to the NFL draft either last year or could opt out to get ready for the NFL draft this year has done so. There was a mass exodus at LSU. I think that's going to have an impact. They're still talented. They still have some players. Don't get me wrong. But now to have that much uh, or that much talent, I should say, leaving right away, it's going to take some adjusting. Brand new quarterback to get used to. I think this could be a game when you start off not against a cupcake, when you're playing against an SEC team right away. 16 and a half points is a lot of points to beat a team by. I'm going Mississippi State plus 16 and a half. Give me that cover for I Mike Leach's that. first game of Mississippi State. Let's roll. Let's go. I love that because that was the other team I was looking at for uh, for my underdog special. Ooh, look at this guy. Yep, Great I minds saw, yeah. think alike. <laughs> All right. So to recap for week number two, me and Maldi, Rams plus two. Maldi, Cowboys plus five. I'll take the Seahawks laying five. Maldi, minus three and a half for the Saints. He's taking the Saints. I'm taking the Packers. Chiefs, plus three and a half. I'm taking the Chiefs. Ra uh, Maldi's taking the Ravens. We both are on Auburn, minus eight. Upset special. Jets, plus ten and a half uh, against the Colts. I will take Mississippi State, plus 16 and a half at LSU. Mald, that was, I hope you had a lot of fun, man. And we'll, oh, I love it. We will see. Hopefully, if you put some money on these, you make some money. Yeah. But yeah, it's we'll going to be a, a very interesting Tuesday. A <laughs> That's true. You might have to even either look for a second job or you can quit your job on, yeah. on Tuesday morning. It's going to be not, not something in the middle, one or the other. That's for sure. Just put the, put the mortgage on it. Oh, yeah, De definitely. <laughs> I, if, listen, you said a lot of these with confidence. You sounded assertive. You sound like you know what you're talking about. You are someone I'd listen to. You are definitely someone I'd listen to for sure. Appreciate it. That was a lot of fun. Ball. I, hey, I don't know if I would <laughs> put like your picks out the little asterisk and like in small writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not liable. I don't really feel confident in these picks. I probably am yeah. not even going to put money in my own picks. So yeah. do, do what you will. Take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Mauled. We'll see Tuesday morning. It's be a lot of fun. Even Monday morning for a lot of these picks. We'll see how we do. Yeah. We'll see if you can catch Lauren, even surpass Lauren. Be a lot of fun. Appreciate you coming on Hickey's Pickies week number two. And hopefully we'll have you on again to pick some more winners. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Thanks for having me on, man.